Hi everyone. Today we are going to start the Sri Lalita Sahasranama Stotram word by word meaning. So before starting to learn about Lalita Sahasranama word by word meaning, we should at least know what is Lalita Sahasranama. Lalita means Devi. Sa hasra namam. Hasram means 100. Sa hasram. Sa means into 10. So 100 into 10, 1000. Nama means names. Sa hasra namam. 1000 names. Lalita sa hasra namam means 1000 names of Lalita or 1000 names of Devi. And in this Lalita sa hasra namam, each name, 1000 names, will be unique. The name will not be repeated. And we should know why it is so important to know the Lalita Sahasranama. The Lalita Sahasranama, it is the names of the Hindu mother goddess. And the goddess Devi is described in a regular pattern in this Lalita Sahasranama from bottom to top. And the physical aspect of the goddess is described here. And we uh, give respect to the Devi like Kameshwari and Kameshwari is beautiful with dark thick long hair and it has Champaka, Ashoka, Punnaga and Saugandha flowers and with say Tilak on her forehead. And we should know that this is the only Sahasranamam for Devi. The others are Vishnu Sahasranama and Shiva Sahasranama. Lalita means one who plays. Also, it is known as spontaneous. And it can be easily understandable. We have also uh, said that the Lalita Sahasranama is composed by eight Vag Devis. Vag means who is very good at words. Those eight devis are Vasini, Kameshwari, Aruna, Vimala, Jayani, Modini, Sarveshwari and Kaulini. And we have a lot of benefits on regular chanting of Sri Lalita Sahasranamavali. One of the very famous benefit is that when you give the dedication to Devi, the Devi should give us the power to chant from the beginning till the end. It is only in the hands of Devi that she blesses us to finish the Lalita Sasranam. And it is also said that all our offerings to uh, God, whether it is be a, our prayers, shlokas, or flowers, or sweet, or the fruits, it is always accepted by Devi. And it is said that it will help us to get the evil away and it will give us the way of penance. And it is also said that it will help us to live longer. That means to do good things. Uh, many kind of diseases is cured by chanting Lalita Sasran, especially by touching the person's forehead who is infected. And there is a vibhuti that is used for Lalita Sasranamam Archana. And once you put it on the forehead, it is said that it is very beneficial. And it is known as when you 
keep a glass of water in front of the uh, puja and do the sasranamam and you put sprinkle it on the head all sorts of troubles related to planetary positions or evil spirits can be taken off and it is said that bhagavan when you chant it you will get the power of amrit which can cure the disease and it is said that if you keep the ghee in front of you while chanting lalita sasram it can give you the power for many generations to come and it is also known as uh, the bhagavan's chanting it has a power to take away any black magic or something some form that is keep on haunting the family can be taken off and it is also said that the atmosphere will be purified by the chanting of lalita sasranama and our nerve in the body will be energized and awakened and if you recite lalita sasranama you can be uh, saved from accidents and from the attacks of enemy and you will be victorious in many deeds and it is also known as uh, the lalita sasranamam fame which will give you good will and it is very auspicious that we get the blessing of devi who is staying on the heart of bhagavan vishnu and while chanting the lalita sasranamam we do not have a specific time and if we cannot complete the lalita sasranamam the bhagavan devi will accept our dedication because it is powerful to say even some of the names of devi and it is also said that the devi's nama chanting is as good as the chanting of shiva thousand names of shiva as well as the devi's husband vishnu that is vishnu sasranam and it is all beneficial if the family unite and chant shri lalita sasranam once a day in the evening or any time when the time permits for the family that will bring unity peacefulness clear mind to perform and they we will bless the prosperity and in the home where there is vishnu lalita sasranam that is chanted regularly there will be no shortage of basic necessities of life that's why we all say this mantras along with lord krishna lord rama or other god and words that's why we always start with sarva mangala mangalye shive sarvartha satike charanye triyambage gauri narayani namostute and it is called the lalita sasranama namavali who in which we are asking the blessings of sri lalitaambika who is also called as kalima durga ma devi parashakti bhagavati in different names that is called by it's called a universal mother and this mother is uh, always hugging the children we all are children of devi each name is very powerful weapon to solve everyday problems so it has many 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 benefits and these are some of the benefits and we will be provided peace security happiness and prosperity so we will start the lalita sasranamam each day we will see the word by word meaning of the lalita sasranama stotra so we will see one shloka per day 